Thank you for participating tonight. We will now begin with an opening statement from head coach Eric Musselman and then go to questions. Please use the raise hand function to indicate you would like to ask a question. When you're called on for your question, please state your name and affiliation first. Coach, please give us a brief opening statement and then we will go to questions. Yeah, I just want to give Baylor a ton of credit. I thought that, um, you know, they played phenomenal tonight, uh, you know, especially offensively. Um, you know, I mean, our locker room, you know, gave us all they could, uh, came up empty. We've had a great, you know, two months, um, played at a very, very high level. But, uh, you know, again, tonight, just have to give Baylor credit. Now we will go to questions from the media. Please use the raise hand function to indicate you would like to ask a question. Our first question is from Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Uh, Eric, um, yeah, great season. Um, you guys have come back all year and you cut eight, 18 to four, did, but did you just feel like Baylor is just too good a team and that they went on that 10 run, a 10 one run late kind of, what do you think made the difference there? I mean, I just think they're a really good team. I mean, they got, you know, all Americans, you know, it's, it's, uh, I mean, we had three freshmen in our starting lineup. Obviously, we were the youngest team and left in the Sweet 16. Those guys earned their starts based on how they played. But the, it's asking a lot for three freshmen in an Elite Eight game. Um, you know, those guys played great. I mean, J.D. offensively was phenomenal, but the foul trouble. Um, yeah, I mean, Baylor's a really, really good team. Um, I mean, they're the, you know, they're the best team that we played this year. Um I mean, the effort, you know, when we got down, we could have hung our heads and, but we, we, I mean, we played really hard. I can tell you that, you know, for the people that were live watching it, um, I mean, we played as, you know, extremely hard, but, uh, you know, lacked some scoring at times and, and, uh, and defensively, you know, they, they hit some tough shots on us. Um, and then the turnovers too. I mean, we knew coming in there, you know, they're a team that, you know, our 15 turnovers, not astronomical, but but 21 points off them, just just too much to overcome. I mean, we out rebounded them a really, you know, I, I, usually we talk about rebounding being an effort stat. So, um, you know, we were, we were worried about the glass and we played small ball and we still out rebounded and we just uh, their guards were just were just too much off the bounce. Our next question is from Scotty Bordelon. Hey, Coach, what are you going to appreciate most about this team in this run? I mean, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's raw right now, Scotty. Um, you know, I mean, you know, as a competitor, you want to win every game. So um, right now I'm, I'm thinking about uh, the 40 minutes that just happened. And, and um, you know, I think that all of us are, are really proud of, of, uh, of the season that we've had. Um, I mean, we got, you know, scorching hot at the right time to end the season. Uh, we played with confidence. We were a basketball team that got better every single day. Um, you know, they came to practice and, and worked every day. Um, you know, even today at our shoot around, we continue to work on some fundamentals um, that hopefully, you know, can help all of our guys individually wh wherever they are. Um, but it was a great season. I mean, we don't, we don't really know the impact because because we've been in a, in a bubble in a controlled environment in a hotel for a very long time. We don't know what the outside, you know, world is is. You know, we're we're playing in, you know, uh, arenas that that are not full like they usually are, and 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 going back to our hotel. So I think that, you know, the impact of what this team has accomplished this year. I think all of us will start feeling it. Um, you know, once 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 we get back to normalcy. Our next question is from Andrew Hutchinson. Yeah, Coach Moses has been so good for y'all all year, but he was just 6 of 30 over these last two games. What, what do you think contributed to his shooting struggles? You know, probably just the defense, uh, you know, really keen in on him, you know, a major part of opponent's scouting reports. Um, you know, I, th that that probably would be what, you know, what I would contribute it to. Our next question is from Curtis Wilkerson. 
Coach, are, are you able to put into words what guys like Jalen Tate, Justin Smith, and, and Vance Jackson, seniors who took a chance on Arkansas, have, have meant to the program this year? No, I mean, our, our – uh, you know, our transfers, first of all, they're, you know, especially if you're a grad transfer, it's a, it's a leap of faith. Um, you know, it's your last uh, college experience, both as a student and as, a, as, a, as an athlete or a basketball player. As a basketball player, it's your last, it's your last piece to your resume before you move on, um, you know, to, to hopefully, you know, play at some level professionally. And so uh, the faith and the trust that those three guys, um, you know, gave us and, you know, because we only had one year of body of work at Arkansas um, and those three guys, um, you know, I, mean, I can't say enough about without those guys, we're not here. I can tell you that. Um, and they did a great job um, in the locker room. They did a great job um, with our freshmen. I thought I thought. Our seniors did a phenomenal job trying to to build the freshmen up every single day, and they allowed our freshmen to be stars um, because because they're such unselfish people. Our next question is from Carter Hill, fifth quarter. Yeah, Coach Carter Hill with fifth quarter. Congratulations on a great season. Kind of piggybacking off an earlier one, how much do you intend to use this one as fuel heading into next season, and and really how excited does does this does this game make you for next season? No, I mean, I think that this run, um, you know, can certainly help us next season. Again, I'm, I'm, you know, stinging from the loss, and and um, you know, all competitors hate to lose, and so uh, you know, I'm sure when we when we get out of this building and and uh, you know we fly back home uh, tomorrow, we'll we'll have time to reflect um, once we get back to Northwest Arkansas and. And, um, you know, but the, but the locker room's disappointed. We came into this game to try to win the game, but um, a phenomenal season and certainly a season in year two that we can all build upon. Our next question is from Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Eric, you know, J.D., he was phenomenal scoring. I think he had 14 points in 15 minutes, but how tough was it that he couldn't play, you know, maybe his usual 30 so when he's hot like that? Yeah, I mean, we needed him to play uh, tonight, Bob, and and um, you know, quite frankly, his dribbled penetration. I mean, we were we were just going to see how long he could play out there, um, you know. And then he picked up a fifth, you know, way too early. Um, but you know, I thought he played great offensively, and 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 certainly, you know, we needed him to play as many minutes as he could when he's playing like he was tonight, because um, because he had a good rhythm and flow to the game and kind of understood how their defense was playing him. Unfortunately, defensively, you know, he just picked up way too many cheap fouls. Our next question is from Randy Rainwater. Randy, go ahead and unmute and ask your question. There you go. Eric, talk about the inability to finish at the rim tonight. What, what do you think was the problem there the defense of um, Bader or what what do you think was the issue finishing at the at the at the cup well I think we outscored them um, in the paint 40 to 36 um, you know obviously in the second half uh, we did not shoot the ball or score the ball or convert the ball um, as well as we would like. Um, but we did shoot 48% from the field against a really, really good defensive team. Um, so, I, you know, if, if someone told me that we were going to be able to shoot 48% uh, from the field, um, you know, we probably would have, would have taken that. It was, it was, it was our defense um, is where we thought the major issues were. Our final question is from Andrew Hutchinson. Coach, you mentioned the turnovers earlier. Ten of those came in the first half, only five in the second half. What, what was kind of the key to, to getting that cleaned up? I just think we had better uh, offensive spacing. I think that we understood the force that their defense played with. Um, you know, obviously we had a really short turnaround, just, just as Baylor did. Um, you know, and so, you know, I, I just thought that, 
once our guys kind of got a flow for how their defense was playing, I thought we certainly took better care of the ball. They do a great job. Like if you long outlet pass um, and we had way too many, you know, what I would consider, you know, unforced turnovers off, off outlet passes or uh, trying to throw advanced passes up the floor. Thank you coach for your time today. Thanks.